After watching this tutorial, you will be fully able to understand any screw compressor loading and unloading principle. Please don't skip the video for better understanding. Leave the comment below for questions. There are a total of four major components used for the process. 1. Solenoid valve number 1, which is called oil supply valve. It's a normally closed valve. This means if the valve is energized, oil can flow through. 2. Solenoid valve number 2, which is called return to suction valve. It's a normally open valve. This means if the valve is energized, oil cannot flow through. 3. Slide valve road and piston and fourth is slide valve spring. Increase load procedure. To fully load the compressor, both solenoid hash 1 and hash 2 are energized as shown in the picture. This allows high-pressure oil to enter the unloader piston chamber moving the slide valve forward, providing more engagement under the screw rotors. Both solenoids should remain energized to maintain the full load position. Achieved by stopping the load or unload process previously described at an intermediate slide valve position. Stopping the valve at an intermediate position is accomplished by de-energizing valve hash 1 and energizing valve hash 2 as shown in the picture. When this happens, both valves are closed and the piston is not allowed to move. Cycling of the solenoids may be required to compensate for leakages around the piston seal. Load procedure. To unload the compressor, both solenoids are de-energized as shown in the picture. This exposes the unloader piston chamber to suction pressure pulling the slide valve out from under the screw rotors, reducing the amount of compression being performed. As shown in the video, when high-pressure oil enter the unloader chamber, it causes the piston to move the valve fully inside, allowing the compression chamber to increase in volume. And when the oil is returned to the suction side, piston moves back and decreases the compression chamber volume. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.